time to go to your happy place. Where it is, your happy place is right now, right here. Go. It's time to be carefree. Like song says, it's time to be carefree. To leave the world at the door right now. Whatever it is, give everything to the Lord right now. Everything to the Lord in prayer. And be carefree. Right here, right now. Let go and let God. Praise God.
should be carefree. To leave the world at the door right now. And like the word says, cast all your care on him. For he cares for you. And that's what we're doing right now for the next 35 minutes. We just let go and let God have everything. Let go and let God have everything in your life. Everyone in your life. Leave nothing out. He didn't say cast some of your cares. He said cast all your care on him. For he cares for each one of us. So right now we let go, Lord. Right now, Father God, we just say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter and we are the clay, Lord. Mold us, Lord. Mold us in what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day, Lord. Every day. Have your way. Have your way in every way. And right now we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me as you see fit for the kingdom. We've taken every worry, every stress, every fear, every anxiety, every struggle, every attack, every infirmity. Lord, we've laid everything on altar right now. And we let go. We lay everything on the altar and let go and trust you, Lord. We let go and let you do what you do best, Lord. For you are the burden remover, the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the door opener, the great physician, the strong tower in each of our lives, whose hand we never let go, Lord, we never ever let go of your unchanging hand. You're the same yesterday, today, forevermore. You are the air we breathe. As a deer panteth for the water, so our soul longs after you, Lord, every single day. We inhale the breath of life. <sighs> Exhale. The word of God. With God, all things are possible. Inhale the breath of life. <sighs> Exhale. The word of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. Inhale the breath of life. <sighs> Exhale. The word of God. And now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think according to the power within us. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale your favorite scripture. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale your favorite scripture. Yes, Lord. As we continue to breathe, Lord, we feel the weight lifting. With each breath, Lord, we feel the weight lifting right now. We feel your peace beyond understanding. We feel your love. And most importantly, we feel the anointing flowing right now in this place, in your presence. And right now, Father God, we receive a fresh anointing right now. Let's stay together, fellowship. Let's stay together. I receive a fresh anointing right now for this day. In the name of Jesus, I receive a fresh anointing for this day in the name of Jesus. Anointing for victory. Anointing for healing. Anointing for breakthrough and deliverance. Anointing for whatever it is you need to walk in victory. 
His anointing destroys every yoke. His anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. Receive it. Bask in it. Immerse yourself in his presence right now. In his peace beyond understanding. Be anxious for nothing. The word says it. Be anxious for nothing, but let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So we just say, yes, Lord. We just say, yes, Lord. Take over, Lord. Take over right now, Lord. Take over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
And the song is called Floating. And when you let go and let God, you feel like you're floating. Because when you give everything to the Lord in prayer, the weight lifts. The weight lifts off of you because we cast our care on Him. And then we're not carrying the heavy load anymore because we gave it all to the Lord in prayer. And now we trust Him. We let go and let Him do what He does. Let Him bring the healing and the breakthrough and deliverance. Let Him bring, let, the Lord will fight for you. It says in the word, the Lord will fight for you. And you shall what? Hold your peace. You will not need to fight this battle. The Lord will fight for you. Our main focus is to what? Hold your peace. To let go and let God have it. To let go and trust God. To trust God to know it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right, family. Like the dancer says, let him carry you through the storm. The dancer.
of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Basking in the afterglow. Yes, Lord. Right now, I'm talking to a person listening, and you've been here the whole time, and you heard the intense praise, the jazz praise earlier, and you heard the prayers, but right now, you can't connect, because right now, your life is falling apart. You heard all the sharing, but you still can't connect, because right now, your life is falling apart with worry and stress and hopelessness, families turning away from you, friends stabbing you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yet somehow you find yourself on this channel and have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. You're not here by accident. God brought you here because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And that's why you're here. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil is telling you once you leave God or fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said the prayer of salvation and then fell back into sin, there is nothing the devil could do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil could do to stop you. So right now, if you're a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, or right now your life is filled with depression and darkness and hopelessness, or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Either way, I want you to pray with me right now. Re repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done. And the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe He died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I accept Jesus as the Lord and Savior. And I commit right now I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without lifting up to you first. Create in me, O Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is not right to receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us, and also convict us when you're not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit, starve your flesh. Feed your faith, starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you will feel in your life, which is God let you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. The next step is to repent. And repent means to change your ways from sinful ways to God's ways. And the more time you spend with God every day, the stronger your spirit gets. And next thing you know, you'll turn away from simple things you used to do and instead seek God's will and God's way. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution 
revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit named a name seen unseen who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. And we cast all you demonic spirits out of our mind, out of our spirit, out of our home, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit of hell from which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy. Loose peace beyond understanding. Loose restoration, Lord. Restore. Restore every area of our life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please give protection of all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose a supernatural healing, Lord, a physical healing, a spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes, we be healed. And Lord, we confess it, Lord. We confess it every day. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name every day. Confess it. And thank him. Confess it and thank him every day. Pray as if your life depends on it. P U S H. Pray until something happens. Loose a supernatural overflow, a financial breakthrough, a supernatural debt cancellation, Lord. Lord, let your blessings, Lord, your blessings of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on the fellowship, every financial need, whatever it is. For you, O oh Lord, shall supply all our need according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want for anything. For the Lord is my shepherd. Let's say this part together, fellowship. Repeat after me. For I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am blessed going in and blessed going out. I am blessed that I may be a blessing to others. I am out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty more to put in store. I am a child of God. And nothing shall by enemies hurt me or block my blessings in any way. In Jesus' name. And finally, Lord, finally, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know. Every day we take time to see it. Every day we take time to visualize the miracle, see it, believe it, and then receive it into your heart. As you receive it into your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We never know the exact when, but because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day, could be the day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep you family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord set his face out of divine approval upon you and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to everyone you touch and speak to. A blessing to everyone you pray over. A blessing to Everyone you pass by and bless when I open your mouth because our love and light of the Lord is all over you 24 7, 365, and close leap year. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. The fellowship's here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.